Hello friends, I'm Abhishek. Welcome you all on my YouTube channel, The Options Desk. So as you have seen by the title, this is a Zerodha chart setting video, like how you should set up a chart for trading or understanding the chart settings in Zerodha app or the Kite app. So as if this is a phone trading video, you do not require any PC or any desktop. I will try to make more videos in the near future. So now let's begin. So as you already know, I've already tried in the previous video to tell you about the how the account opens in Zerodha, the most popular Indian brokerage. So now we will go forward. We have already opened the account. If you haven't opened the account yet, there's a link in the description which we can which you can use to open an account and you can also watch a video tutorial on it to as to how to open your account or how many things you might be needing to open your account so now let's begin so this is this is the kite app as you can see as you know it provides multiple themes so I've switched to the dark theme now let's go to the light theme if even if you want so just click on the settings and this you can change it from light to dark or anything on the dark you can also click the black mode okay I would remove the black mode so this is the dark theme for Zerodha and the chart setting is chart IQ as you can see it below and the trading view so we prefer the chart IQ as we have been trading by default uh, since the beginning on this so I'm much comfortable so I will explain you with the chart IQ as this is the default setting in Zerola so now let's go so as you can see this is the nifty bank and this is the various banks in the Indian market so now I will click on SBI and I will show you how to open the chart and how to do the settings in the SBI in chart so now I'll click on SBI and you know this uh, window has been opened now you can click on the view chart as you can see this button here once you click on the view chart, allow it a couple of moments, the chart of the stock will open on the default time frame which it has been set. So as you can see, now let me first clear all this for you. Yeah. So as you can see, uh, so now starting from the top, as you can see, this is the buy button. If you click on the buy, you can directly execute a buy order from here. If you click on the sell, you can directly execute a sell order from here. This button is used for refreshing of the chart status and this is for the cancelling of the chart. You can go back to the previous window. So now let's understanding one by one. So this is the time frame. One day is equal to one day. And if it has different time frames, we trade on the basis of the time frame, like in swing trading or positional, or if you are trading intraday, we prefer different time frames for investing in other purposes. So the other different time frames, if you will click on five minutes the data will be shifted to five minutes now each candlestick that you are seeing at this particular point is of five minutes candlestick as you can see it is from below like uh, this candlestick of 30th of april it's from 13 5 and the next candlestick would be from the 13 10 means five minutes of candlestick from 105 till 10 pm so this is the five minute candlestick and you can also switch with the 10 minutes candlestick okay so you can also this is the option for the view how to you can also save your current view if you want you can like if you have drawn any trend lines or something like that you can save your current view by clicking in the link here so now this is the type of the candlestick as you can see i will also explain in a particular video the next how and what different types of candlestick do we see in the indian market and what many people are using so this is the candlestick which is the most popular and by default comes in the settings so the average closing opening price i have already explained in the previous video that is totally the same there is no difference so now the other candle is the bar this is the same difference as you can see the bar is like uh, uh, this side is open the arrow on the this side half is open and this side it's closed so as you can see uh, let me zoom in more for you so you can see this candle as you can see so this is the opening price of the candlestick and this is the closing price it has no color so it m helps many traders to devoid of the emotions that they trade that they think it is a bullish movement or a bearish movement so now you can switch to the default candlestick so you can see it is a bearish movement so it is mostly controlled for emotional trading so you can see also the colored bar you can get that is a red bar that is as you can see this is a doji candle that is a black particular and at this particular point you can see a red candle that is a bearish setup so now i will go to the line simply this also to find the price line in the five minutes the closing price that would be i guess the closing price of the particular candlestick so the closing price was here so this is the line chart so now i will go to a hollow candle that is the same just the green candles are a bit hollow the red candles are still filled with deep so now the mountain yeah this is the same mountain the line or we can also prefer it as mountain or the line they both are the same and they work mostly like same so the baseline i don't know much about this and this particular i think is the continuous wave or the support at which the which you can particular trade on or which was the previous level or the zone at which the particular stock price closes so the most popular i would prefer it to don't go into much deeper and the most popular the people use are candlestick and volume candle and hikinashi candle as the all the others are same so volume candle now that makes a big difference in the volume candle when you are trading in a small setup like a five minute setup or a 10 minute setup then a volume candle is really important as many trade through the vfap method of trading like that is also an indicator that I will, I will also explain in the future videos like many other traders also trade with the volume candle to analyze the support or the resistance in a particular zone for this you might not need the volume indicator you can just use the volume candle so and last most important candle is the hikinashi candle in this candle the next opening price is the 
average price of the previous candle means the opening and the closing price like high and the low of this price would be the opening price of this candle okay so that is the average price of the hikinashi and this is how hikinashi is work so the mostly used candlestick pattern is just the normal candlestick by default that i have already explained you so it will come like this pattern on the other hand now we're coming to the fourth portion that is the fx that is the formula section you can apply different indicators i will explain indicators i will not apply i will just apply one for example you can apply different indicators from the sections like now i should apply a moving average for you so now let's see so moving average as you can see by default it has come to 50 so now 5 and exponential changing to and color is red the moving average changing again now taking it 20 and exponential any color so this is the moving average setup of 5 and 20 that is used by most noise or the uh, very good intraday traders so to detect a basic intraday setup or a fall as you can see a crossover is there so a fall is there but there's noise also which i will also explain in the previous video like what is noise and how you can avoid the noise so that is the basic setup so this is also the cloud saving like you can save the preferences by clicking the link here and this will prefer, save all your preferences if you have any charts or any trend lines you have drawn on the chart it will save all here so now coming to the setting as you can see it's a uh, the settings portion at this particular point so when you click here you can get a crossover like i am not getting crossover i can move the chart by one finger but when i click on this i do get a crossover like this and i can see the particular price of a candle and this is a section where i see a price like open high low and close so for this if I click on this, the section would be removed and there would be no price and candlestick. If I again click on this, I guess the price should come and this, yeah. If I have double clicked on this, so the price window has come again. So I can see open, volume, close, high, low and the time of the candlestick. So this is the drawing of the candlestick. If you want to draw any particular tool like Fibonacci, we use many times. So I can draw by clicking it here and then dragging it. So this is just an example, this is not a real Fibonacci plotting, this is just an example, so don't take it as a real Fibonacci plotting. So this is how you can draw and for the clearing of the drawings you can just click by link, clicking the link here. So now let's go back to the daily chart. So as you can see I've already went to the daily chart, so now another using of the tool, as you can see I can go for the line to draw trend line SBI that I can see at this particular point here. Yeah so i can draw a trend line in sba at this particular point so as we do sometimes trade on the breakout level so if this gives a breakout we can definitely hit to the higher levels in sbin so this was the basic chart setting in zerodha and by this you can also refresh all the plotted levels or the anything that you have plotted previously so this will give you a clear chart analysis so this is how you can analyze the view if you get a if you open the chart window like any other stock like if i go for the yes bank everything is same everything is still the same the one day time frame the plotting preferences everything buy order sell order everything is same here okay there's no difference all the charts are same just the value is different and the stock price the stock name you would see here so be, make sure you are trading in the correct stock price by seeing the name of the chart here so this is the basic Zerudha chart setting. So how you can use the chart in the Zerudha app in the Zerudha Kite app. So that will give you a much more insight and I hope this video will make the chart usage in Zerudha app much easier. Thank you and have a nice day.